Welcome back to Spa for race two. Now after an exciting race one, it is Juan Liebenberg who put in a stunning lap two secure pole position. Jonathan Benz will start alongside Liebenberg in second position. Boyd Bryson in third shares row two with Bashir Jadwata, race one winner. Mark Embury will start from fifth position along, alongside Yastil Ragube. Chris Heineke will start from seventh ahead of Marcus Stein. Maurice van Veek will start row five alongside Rion van der Verstaisen in tenth position. Now Liebenberg at the front has been threatening to secure victory for a long time now. Let's see what he can do. Will this be his race? We are heading towards Tosa for the first time and Boyd Bryson has had a problem and has hit the pit wall. Look back from Liebenberg back at Hembury and, and Benz make contact. We are almost three wide into a reach for the first time. And it is Chris Heineke who's gone to second. What a great start. After starting from seventh, and we have contact behind the trip spike. Leon van der Vesen and Yesti Rugby coming together. And there's Morris van Veek who has a run on. Who is that? It is Jonathan Benz. So Benz falling back from second. Is down to about fifth. It is the number 55 blue, yellow, and white BMW. Morris will make up into fourth position. Great start by him. Benz running wide at Peor. Benz with a little look at Van Beek into Compass. to shut off for a while and there's a lot stain to run alongside of him stain challenging or rather defending from Henbury But it is Juan Liebenberg who leads on lap two with a decent gap back to our race one winner Bashir Jadwat in second with Chris Heineke close behind. Ben's having a good run up the Camel Strait looking to challenge Morris Van Dijk for fourth position. Bits around the outside of Van Veek at turn 12. Stain and Hibbery also lining up behind Van Veek. Oh, 
on their make contact, they touch at compass. And around both of them go. Hungary scores two positions, he moves up into fifth. Stane just moving back onto the racing line and he wasn't quite fast. Morris van Beek leading to that unfortunate contact. Sideways moment for Judd Watt in the background. He exits the source. Pushing very hard indeed, trying to come to terms with Liebenberg, who has just started lap 4 of 9. He was looking strong to take his first victory of the season. Misanika doing a sterling job in third, bending off Benz for now. Bent's now looking up the inside of Hanika. and Hanika shuts the door and says, no, nah, not this time. And just appreciate Judd White has gone off track. You can see him flash by there. And Chris Hanika is now up in two third position, the second position. What has fallen back to fifth position behind Henbury. And, the, and again, another squad that goes to Expo has a problem as Benz runs wide at Pure. Through goes Henbury. And suddenly, the two HRTs are lying in second and third position ahead of the squad that goes to cars. My, my, what a race we have here. Meanwhile, Evenberg is running away with it up front. Totally unchallenged at the moment. It's the 
two HRTs against his two Squadron Ghost Works BMWs. We still have half the race to go. How will this turn out? Annika runs deep into the chicane. Henbury closes. He brings Jonathan Benz with him. Henbury proving to be the stuffy quick of the two HRTs. Will we see a team order come to light? Which sees Henbury through on Hanukkah. How will they do it though? As Jonathan Benz is right there. Will we'll Benz let Jadwa through as well? It's still all to play for. Is this the move from the HRTs? Heineke goes inside and he lets Henbury through. What a great move. Through goes Henbury into second. Heineke defends from Benz. That was a great move at PO. Not easy. High speed left hander. But they've done it. And how much longer can Heineke fend off Benz? Will Benz let Jadwa through? Area by Hanika. Benz closes up even more, but here comes Jadwat. Here comes the move I was talking about. Three goes Jadwat into fourth position. And Jadwat looks to come through the inside at Blanchimon. He's done it, I think. Or can Hanika come back under breaking for the chicane? Hanika runs wide, but he rejoins successfully. Hanika tries to attack. Up the inside at the, at the chicane. That's back inside. But no judge what maintains their position and Jen Benz is looking to come through into fourth. Heineke goes defensive into Tosa. And Benz switches back. And looks as if Benz has gone to fourth. So Heineke is down from second to fifth. In one lap. On board of Hanika at the Kemmel straight. In the draw from Benz. Benz goes defensive. Benz defends successfully. A big moment for Judd Watt. It is out of less Combs. And Judd Watt is back to where he was. Mark Stan will come through to take fifth away from Judd Watt. What an action-packed race it has been so far. Staying absolutely sideways through PO. Keeps it going. But Judd Watt has got Stain. And the brakes forced double no. Liebenberg starts lap 7 of 9. Almost got the length of the entire main straight. 
Let's get back to Embury. Ben's now closing the gap to Lockenbury. But there's one in Burgers run away with it. And there's just one and a half laps remaining to secure his first win of the season. I'm pretty sure it won't be his last. Final lap now for Wallenberg. HRT for Squadra Ghostworks for second position, and the same again is the fight for fourth. 
really seems to have vents covered so far though. Same for Heineken over Judd Watt. is now much closer you'll be looking to get close enough to have a run on him into or through Blanchimar the high speed combination of straights towards the end of the circuit but Embry extends the gap through Pion looking very good indeed Maybe a bit better under braking. Oh, and Henry's run wide. And Benz goes into the back of him. As Henry sustained damage, Benz is going to go through into second, it seems. Henry is back up to speed, however. But it is Liebenberg who will come through to win race two at Spa. What a great drive by him. Well deserved. Hembry tries to challenge Jadwat for second, but Jadwat does go defensive in time. Jadwat will come through to take second. Hembry in third, of course. And Heineke has won his battle with Jadwat to take fourth. Dane is playing sixth ahead of Van Veek. Good drive by Van Veek this time round. He takes seventh, so good spa round for Maurice Van Veek. That's the Rugby Bear in eighth. And that wraps up race two at Spa. From me, Jason Holden Jones, thank you very much for watching. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.